Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Sunken Land. Now, I haven't played Sunken Land for quite a while. The only reason I hadn't is because, honestly, I had been busy with a lot of other fishing-related simulating simulators. Plus, I wasn't getting a whole lot of views with this game. I really do like the game. I th saw that it had a lot of potential. But, again, not getting a whole lot of response. So I kind of dropped off of it for a while. And I was just recently told by some of my viewers, particularly J.D. Kempton. And I believe Donna Camellia also said something. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Donna. Um... Uh, they said that there was a major update made. Now, I didn't realize it had been actually a couple of, well, more than a month ago. I was thinking not really a couple of months ago, but early October. And, yeah, we're almost here at the end of November. But, yeah, this entry even looks extremely different. And I figure I'm going to have to start a whole new game over because I don't think my old save games are compatible. I haven't really checked anything other than the fact that it has got some major changes. And there's a tutorial which I don't remember it ever having. So I think I might check out the tutorial, guys, just so you can see. Okay, it says the basics. Okay, so this is informational tutorial. So they're not walking you through, but you can... If you don't know how to do something you can look it up which is extremely handy it's like having a wikipedia at your fingertips um that's pretty cool smart guys smart all right well hopefully that's available to us at any time if we need it because honestly i haven't played in a while so i might have forgotten to do a few things well, let's go ahead and start a game. It looks like I still have the last character I had. I had actually a few of them. I had Hawkeye, I had Solomon and Galadriel. I had Galadriel and just looked the same way. I'm going to go with Salome this time. I like her ponytail. We are going to go ahead and do a single player. New world. All right, we're going to go ahead and start our game. Mission Unlock Survival Guide. All right. Oh, wow. I have to say, the graphics seem to have improved tremendously. Not that they were bad to begin with, but this is nice. Let me see if I can get anything out of this. I will start scrapping right off the bat, guys. Castaway Island. This might be good because we might be able to find some cloth. Yep. Well, that one I have to chop, so... Alright, so we are at Castaway Island, and it doesn't really look the same to me. 
Oh, so they've made this a little tougher, have they? There's no... Yeah, I used to get up on that great... Well, they sort of have a huge rock, but not like they used to be. That used to be where I've always put my base. They just pretty much cleared it out. It's like remnants of it. And there's some mushrooms. Okay, let's see what's in here. Alright, well, we got the rubber duck. Everybody needs a rubber duck, you know. Oh. Just to take all. That works. Mushrooms. Wood. At least there's something in the tent. It used to be just kind of pointless before. I always wanted the ability to destroy it because it just seemed like it was more in the way than anything else. Couldn't get in it or use it for anything. And now it kind of stores stuff. That's cool. Well, we need to go around and collect wood as much as we can. There's no trees at all anymore. That's... Guess they figured it was a little too easy. <laughs> Try hard nations. Hard at work. Okay, here are some helpful tips for managing your items efficiently in the game. Drag items, use left mouse drag to move items around your inventory. Sing move single item, move entire stack, double mouse click. So these are just stuff to help you to do stuff. Okay, so crafting, we need simple crafting. We're going to need a stone hatchet probably. And I'm going to move some of this stuff, get the mushrooms down here, torch we're probably going to need, see if we can stack some of this stuff, herbal medicine, that's in case I get hurt, something to drink, I can stack that, we are going to need a wooden spear, but we need a lot more wood than that, so... That way we can harvest those crabs. Those crabs are kind of essential. I don't know why we need an axe. There's nothing to chop. Oh, we can chop that. Okay. Can't chop wood. Yes. Yeah, they just made that considerably tougher. Alright, we gotta find wood, guys. Looks like driftwood's all we've got. We need a spear. And we need to be able to cook our food. Yeah, I keep thinking I might be able to pick up rocks, but you don't in this game. At least not like that. We got us a car, like right here. Turned it into scrap metal. Yeah, it shell looks like it would be something, but apparently it is not. I guess we could probably build something on top of here, like maybe a, a small structure, but nothing big. Not anymore. That doesn't do anything either, so... And there's no strawberries! The strawberries are gone. That sucks. Well, let me see here. Can I make a spear yet? Yes, I can. Okay, good. So three. There's a crab. Okay, got me a crab. Wow, this this is new. You get kind of a shallow area here now that we didn't have before. This is probably where we could hunt a few things. 
I wonder if we could hunt fish. Regular fish, I mean. Well, let's take a look at some things. Since we've got ourselves a Wikipedia of sorts. Let's see. Blueprints. Uh, missions. Okay. Build wooden foundation. We still have that. Build research table. Build a simple purifier. Build a simple grill. Diving fins. Simple bed. Wooden chest. Roasted mushroom. Discover location trading outpost. Craft a bow and research technology. Show tips. Okay. I don't... There's our factions. Looks like they got more factions now, too. Pirates, mutants. Yeah, the mutants what I ended up dealing with in the beginning. The slavers. Oh, boy. So, mutants have like six islands. Pirates have four. Oceanic Republic. Freedom and democracy and respect the independent person that is and where the stars of hope. Why are they enemies then? Sounds like they're they would be our allies. I don't know. I guess we're gonna learn this as we go, guys. I'm not sure about the lore, what has changed. Any of you who have already started playing, you like it? Give me some tips that could be helpful. <laughs> well, there's some marlin. We could kill a couple of those, that would be helpful. So that would be some fish. They're kind of fast. And I'm going to run out of oxygen before he ever does, that's for sure. A lot faster than I am. Oh, come here, you pain in the butt. Okay, having some swim fins would be extremely useful. <laughs> I think I'm kind of wasting my time trying to go after him. Let's see here. see what we could raid here. Is there anything in here of use? We got a little bit of lag there. This is probably something I can chop down. We got cloth. All right. Can we do anything? That would be useful. Nope. Yeah, having kelp should be something you could harvest. It, it can actually be a food source. I can stand right here for a second and chill for a moment. Let's see here. Alright, let's go down here. See if there's any openings to anything. Doesn't look like it. Okay, wait a minute. Hey, we got something here. Alright, there was something under here too that I saw. I also wonder how much daylight I have, because it used to be 
night was not a good thing. I don't see anything over there. Yeah, also there was a trader that used to be around here somewhere. My problem is, where would he be now? Let me check the map here. Oh, that's helpful. <laughs> I think he was this way, though. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's not very clear. Well. I'm pretty sure he was this way. The yeah, thing I gotta be careful of is sharks. What's this place? Is this Three Barrel Island? That's mutants. Okay, we don't want to go there. Yeah, we probably need to figure out what's near us so that we know what to look out for, what the dangers are. Well, we have to get close to them. Pirates. Alright, great. So, so far, nobody will help us. So that's Three Barrel Island. That just seems a little far. Yeah, let's go someplace a little bit closer to Ask Castaway Island. I think I'm wandering aimlessly here, guys. Yeah, there's two points of interest over here. If I could find a friendly point of interest, that would be nice. It's also shallow here, which is kind of good. Alright, I don't know... Mutants again. Great. District 43, so that is an underwater structure, kind of deep. Yeah, when you see bubbles, that usually means a safe. And I think it's under, underneath there somewhere. There's another marlin. Castaway Island. Okay, what? The mansion. Okay, another underwater. This is where sharks sometimes... Free. Oh, yeah. I need to uh, move. <laughs> Cape Lookout. That's mutants. So far, I'm not fine. That looks like a mutant's place, too. Gosh. This is going to be tough, guys. All I've got is one little... 
one little island that has no trees. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a mutant facility. I think it looks a lot like that one that we used to have near us. Green Isle Salvation Clan. Okay, I think they're a bunch of religious zealots. Goody. <laughs> Unknown ruins. Is this part of the unknown ruins? Oh, great. Pirate hideout. So I have nothing friendly near me. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to get too hungry. Alright, we gotta we're gonna try this one more other place. Ah, I think that might be our trader. That looks like a trader. Apartments. Yeah, that looks like a trader, guys. Okay. Thank goodness we found it. Trading outpost. Well, they've changed this. I love the graphics in this thing. Finally, a friendly face. Oh, and it's still Halloween. What? What's the little thing behind her? Okay, what the heck is that? <laughs> okay, I guess it's some kind of electronic moving thing. Let's see, she has got blueprints, reinforced structures, silver coins. I don't know what that is. Antibiotics, that could be useful. I don't have much, really anything to sell though. Unless she wants my rubber duck. Let me see if she'll buy it. <laughs> let me see if she'll let me get something for the rubber duck. Um. I don't need ammo. Marble or ballistic fiber. That's not going to really do me any good. Energy drink. Damage caused by radiation. Oh, very nice. Well, it doesn't look like she has much that I can really buy. Um, at least not at this point. Let me see if I can at least get some rubber from her. I do know the rubber's... She sold it to me for the rubber duck. Okay. Not like I could do anything with the rubber duck. Oh, who's this person? Trader. It's a different trader. Trader has... Oh, she deals in, like, Halloween-based stuff. So she's, like, a special trader. That's cute. That is so cute. I mean, it's a little out of season, but that's all right. 
Let me see what I can get. I used to be able to get free stuff this way. Yep, we still can. There's another dude. Okay, he sells weaponry and blueprints to make weaponry. That's cool, dude. So he doesn't have, he's not interested in anything I've got to sell him. Yeah, that's one thing about nice about these traders is you can get free stuff. And it respawns on a regular basis, so that's pretty cool. First friendly face, what? Hello. <laughs> I'm thinking my inventory is getting kind of full. Feeling I'm gonna run out of. Yep, my inventory is full. I knew that was gonna happen eventually. Oh, what does she sell? Oh, she sells furniture. So we got somebody who deals in furniture, somebody who deals in weapons, somebody who deals in regular everyday items, and somebody who deals in Halloween stuff. <laughs> That's glass. Well, that I could use. Let's put this on. Give me a pair of pants or a mini skirt. Let's see which would be better. Either one will work. Vinyl machine. Let me go ahead and eat because I'm about to starve to death. And I'm about to die of thirst. Well, I may have to come back and get some of that stuff. I'm gonna have to go back. Something tells me I'll get kicked off this place. They might let me stay here, I don't know. Freezing, stay near fire. Pretty seasick sometimes. Uh, it doesn't look like they're here. That's great. What about these candles? Can I build a fire? Nope, don't look like I can do that. I'm going to go ahead and save. I hope my kids see a better world. Okay, so where's Castaway Island? A little bit of a distance. Oh, great. Can we build a fire? Let's see, build. Okay, here we go. Now I'm starting to remember. Simple grill, simple purifier. Standing torch, bonfire. Yeah, I can build a fire. 
There we go. So they'll let me live here. That's not too bad. I'm not freezing anymore. So that's that's useful. That wouldn't something I don't think you could do that before. So I can just hang out here until I warm up a little bit. I can build myself a little bit of a Hello. place to stay. Let me see if I can build a chest. Build, let's see, we've got simple grill, research table, simple cabinet, wooden chest. We don't want to get a cabinet yet. I just want to put my stuff in it. Well, that's really helpful that we can build right here on this trader post. Probably won't get attacked either. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can't drop off some of the stuff. Yep, that still works. That reorganizes. Alright, well that's pretty cool. I like the fact that we can work, live here, or at least stay here for a little while. I found antibiotics. That's not bad. Passing through, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just uh, hanging out. Luck, kids, see a better what? Better what? <laughs> Hope my kids see a better what? So I guess you could actually build yourself a. Okay, maybe not here. Oh wait a minute, I haven't been here. What's this dude selling? Oh, we got missions. I want to take the contract. I want to complete the contract. Leave. Oh my gosh, this has changed so much, guys. This is so cool. So we can do missions now. Okay, here's our weapons, dude. Just checking for any other stuff we might be able to use. I get pretty seasick sometimes. Uh, if you do, you're in a bad place for that crap. Rubber. Yeah, it was Delacaba that first pointed it, pointed me towards the trader as a source of getting initial stuff. But look, that shows me where my chest is, too. I think. No, that's not my chest. Oh, this just shows you that this will disappear in so long. Okay. So I need to grab it before it times out. Okay, I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, I like the changes, guys. I really do. I'm very pleased with the changes. Okay, I didn't get hurt. Some gasoline, too. Lots of free loots. Yeah, I'm checking to make sure I have everything I can get here. I wonder if I can make a bed here.
Well, let's go ahead. Let's see, can we make us a. Well, we can make a few things here. Alright, let's see, what can we build here? We've got us a chest. We've got. Don't really need furniture yet. Boats. Can't really. We need to be able to cook stuff. We can. Simple grill. Research table. We got the wood chest done, we got the trading outpost done. Roasted mushroom. We need to build a simple grill. Okay, so we let's go ahead and do that then. Packing box, that's so you can move your stuff. To build a packing box, you can pick up your furniture. Leather, we've got bandages, we've got rifled barrel built in. I'm not sure what that is exactly. Let's go ahead and build a simple bed. We need a place to sleep. We also need food. <laughs> Double shelf, let's see, how do we... Okay, we studied it. Food's going to be a problem. I'm not sure why my health went down, but let's see what happens when we sleep. Okay. So we slept on the outpost. What do you talk what do you know? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Alright, well. Still got the same pip pipples. My health did go up, so sleeping did help. I didn't lose anything, so that means that... I can keep stuff here and it stays relatively safe. I don't know what a vinyl machine is. Oh, it's a decoration. Got plenty of rubber. I tell you what, we might be able to make some rubber fins. Let's see. Because if we can do that... Simple crafting. Seawater bucket sack. We need cloth. A sack of crease our inventory storage. Repair hammer, pickaxe. Hmm. Bandage. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that I can. Let's see. Simple grill, research table. Yeah, I don't think I can build fins yet. I think I have to earn that ability. I don't have it yet. So, 
as I build and do this stuff, I will open up new, th better things. So, that being said, let's drop that in there. Can't really do much with any of this stuff that I'm carrying, except that. <clears throat> oh, any instant ramen would be good. That actually increased my health. Oh, and I got baked beans. I didn't see that. That must be an armor slot. Yeah, it's right, and your armor wears off after a while, so clothes count as armor. Well, at least I got a spot. That's something. Now I need to figure out how to get more food. I think going over to these apartments might be helpful. The only thing I fear is maybe my health went down because of the cold. Is that the case? Wow, they're really deep. I don't know if I want to go there. But we have another structure over here that actually has trees. Two Rock Beach. This is a mutant's location. Hmm, boy. Well, if I remember correctly, there wasn't that many of them. So maybe I can take them out with my spear. Maybe I need to resave. Up, <laughs> oh, there's one. Dude. Offensive for the first time here, guys. Usually I wait for them to attack me. Alright, let's see what we got here as far as a place. Okay, this is workable. Got drinks. Got mushrooms. Got rubber. Lots of scrap metal. Okay, the barrel is something we can get stuff from. This kind of looks like the original Castaway Island more than the other one does. Obviously, there's a reason why it's called Two Rock Island. I think that's the only mutants that are here, which is really good. Can I eat that pig? Oh, we got ourselves a fire. Oh, cool. Roasted meat. I got it.
Yeah, this would be a good place to build, guys. But I think I'm going to have to set up some kind of a flag or something. At least that's the way it used to work. Set claim to it, maybe. Or maybe I can't, and then it just respawn after so long. I don't know. Yeah, there's just the two mutants. This would be ideal if I can figure out a way to, to take it over. Because heck, I even have a fire and everything. Well, let me see here. Let's see. Simple grill. We got rain coming. Great. Yeah, I don't think we have weather before. Herbal medicine. Okay, purifier. Research table. Street sign. Faction flag. Spear. See what her bucket and sack. Street sign for simple bed, humble bed, sofa, faction flag. I think that's what I need is a faction flag, but I need a spear before I can even do that. much else I can do. I can chop a tree down. That's how we get wood. Again. But I have roasted meat this time, so we are not doing bad in the health department here. Let's save our game and let's head back to the trading outpost. Let's see if we can't grab some of the more useful stuff and see if we can't start building something. Alright guys, well, we've had our first little adventure in this new look at this thing. I tell ya, I like the changes. I really am pleased with them. It seems like we have more storage now too than we used to have in these chests. I'm good with that too. Just a little unsure about how to do some of the things anymore. It's been a while, like I said. 
just going to put everything in here for now and I think we're going to go ahead and save the game here. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at the new changes. So until next time, if you want me to continue doing more episodes of this, we've got a lot we can look at. There's a lot to do here. Anyway, as always, say aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.